Hey everybody, Mike Iaganelli here. I want to talk to you about the recent Going Ike episode, Missile Jig Bassin. Uh, great opportunity for me to travel down to Virginia to go to the Missile Jigs headquarters and fish with my good friend John Cruz. Got to learn a lot about the process of designing jigs and how those guys come up with these things, it's pretty awesome. But then we got to experiment with the jigs and actually fish them. And you know, it was perfect from the standpoint that we had a super tough day, super tough conditions. Um, we had a lake that's normally clear that got stained. We had, of course, a cold front come through. The water temperature dropped about eight degrees. So really lethargic, kind of uh, slow moving bass. And there is no better bait to fish in those conditions than a jig. It's, uh, it's the kind of bait that when things are tough, you can slow down and catch some fish. And we caught fish on two jigs in this show. Of course, we caught them on the Missile Mini Flip Jig, which is a small, compact, flipping style jig. But the real standout of the show, we caught a lot of our bigger fish on this bait, is the Missile Jig's Headbanger Jig. And this particular lake that we fished, if you look at the terrain in this video, it's real rocky. Um, boulders and chunk rock and, and real uh, groovy natural rock along bluffs. Really tough conditions to fish any other bait. A Texas rig, a shaky head, um, you know, baits that are kind of going to get snagged. The Carolina rig, you're always snagging them. And this Missile Jig's Headbanger came through the cover really clean, and that was important. So if you look at this jig, I wanna show you the head design on that. It really has what we call a broad diamond head design on it, and the shoulders on that jig head, that real broad pointy shoulders on that diamond jig head is what helps that bait come through. You know, it's a lot like two elbows that stick out and help it crawl through the rock cover. You know, a lot of those fish we caught and they were both largemouth and smallmouth were feeding on crawfish and especially that time of the year in the late fall, those crawfish start getting that real orangey, greenish color to them. And it was key, and you're gonna see during this show, it was key to add orange to the bait. And this is one of the uh, missile jig colors that we have that has a lot of orange in the skirt. And you know, I was matching mine with a Berkeley chigger crawl, green pumpkin, and I was even adding a little orange dye to the tips of that crawl. And it's a great example when things get tough to pick a bait that really mimics what the fish were feeding on. And they were feeding on crawfish. You know, just to finish it out, of course, I used my signature Abu Garcia Ike Series rod. I used the 7.2 medium heavy rod, and that's a rod I designed for jig fishing. I paired it with the Abu Garcia Revo MGX and the super fast 8.0 to 1. And I used 17 pound Berkeley Trilene fluorocarbon. Fishing around all those rocks is pretty nasty, so I wanted to go a little heavier line. Let me tell you something, if you get around fishing that's tough and you want to imitate a crawfish and fish it around rocks, try that bait. Try a missile jigs headbanger. You're gonna have a good day like we did. Hope you enjoyed the show. See you later.